All right, I'm back. Um, you guys should have made a prediction on what you think will be happening next. Um, Otis went down to the mud pond when he found out the little calf was stuck. So um, we're going to go ahead and read on, and then you're going to, at the end, you can um, tell us, did you think your prediction was correct, or was it a surprise to you what happened, okay? Then call fire department chief Douglas and the fire truck, the farmer shouted. They can save our little calf. But the sight of the big red truck startled the little calf in even deeper. The farmer was fit to be tied. If the farmhands and the big tractor and even fire chief Douglas and his fire truck couldn't save the calf, who could? And we know that Otis went down from our worksheet. Suddenly the little calf's ears perked up. Over the hum of the growing crowd, there came a faint sound in the distance. A soft, rhythmic purr, putt, puff, puttity, chuff. The crowd turned and looked. The sound became louder. Putt, puff, puttity, chuff. And all at once, Otis putt, puffed from around the barn. He turned and headed straight towards Mud Pond. Oh, the calf sees his her buddy. Otis puffed down the rolling hill and pulled right up next to the muddy water's edge. The calf heard her friend's puttering purr and it bawled, and it was like something like a hello. Then to the sound of its gentle chuff and the amazement of all the people in the crowd, Otis slowly began to circle the pond. And he circled and he circled and the little calf turned and turned, never taking her eyes off her friend. With each ring, Otis made a round mud pond. The muddy grip loosened until the calf was able to stumble out of the pond on her own. The two friends had found each other again. So the little calf getting stuck made Otis come out of his funk, right? Otis led the calf right down the dusty road toward the village, and everyone threw flowers as they went, following them into town. It looked like a happy parade. No one needed a fancy blue ribbon to tell them that the calf was a special calf. Otis was a special tractor, and the two of them were special friends. From that day on, the farmer discovered that with Otis's puttering purr beside the chicken coop, his chickens laid more eggs. At milking time, with Otis's gentle chuff nearby, his cows produced more milk. On occasion, Otis even got to join the farmer in the big yellow tractor out in the fields. But often at the end of the day, Otis would just sit with his friend, under the apple tree, and watch the farm below. The end. What a great story. I hope you guys can fill out your prediction sheet. It looks like this. It's in your packet for today. Um, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.